Hello students welcome to the second part of the video work and energy of class 5 science Now the third form of energy is the solar energy As the word implies solar means sun isn't it So here the main thing is what the sun which we have already informed that sun is the main source of energy on earth natural source of energy right so what happens here the sunlight passes through the earth's atmosphere in the form of visible light and infrared radiation so with the help of the solar energy the green plants the green plants use this solar energy to make their food to make their food they use it to convert into sugar and starch and this process of conversion is known as photosynthesis isn't it you have you must have heard this term photosynthesis photosynthesis is the process in which the green plants prepare their own food okay so this is one example and also the solar energy is been used by the solar cell panels okay the solar cell panels you must have heard these words solar cell panels they are used to convert this energy into electricity so the solar energy is been converted into another form of energy that is electricity and is used to light lamps operate fans and do many other works now the next form of energy which we are going to study is the wind energy so first tell me what is wind me wind is nothing but the moving air moving air is called wind you have learned this isn't it so the energy produced by the power of moving air is called the wind energy understood the energy produced by the power of moving air is called wind energy and this wind energy is used by the windmill to set a turbine in motion and produce electricity and to produce electricity wind energy is also used for sailing of boats and many other purposes the next form of energy is the mechanical energy so what is mechanical energy mechanical energy is the energy possessed by an object due to its motion or its stored energy of position mechanical energy can be either kinetic which means energy of motion or potential which means energy of position or in other words we can say that mechanical energy is the sum of kinetic and potential energy that is there in an object which is used to do work for your better understanding let me give you an example a boy with an iron hammer and nail in the illustration given below you can just see the picture that is given below here we can see that the iron hammer on its own has no kinetic energy but it has some potential energy which is because of its weight so in order to drive a nail into the piece of wood he has to lift the iron hammer up which increases its potential energy because of its high position and force it to move at a great speed downwards so when it is moving downwards now it has which form of energy kinetic energy to hit the nail so what we can conclude from this we can conclude that the sum of potential and kinetic energy that the hammer acquired to drive in the nail is called the mechanical energy which results in the work being done sound energy so sound energy is produced when a force causes an object or substance to vibrate the energy is transferred through the substance in the form of wave for example as you can see in the picture a vibrating drum in a disco transfers energy to the room as sound 
so here what happens kinetic energy from the moving air molecules transfers the sound energy to the dancers ear drums the kinetic energy in the sticks is being then transferred into sound energy now the last form of energy which we are going to study is about the light energy have you ever experienced when someone turns off the light in the room where you are there how did you feel like you were confused because you were not able to see anything around you right so light is also a form of energy that enables us to see things isn't it we cannot feel it but we can only see it it can be both natural and artificial source so as we have already learned about the natural source of light that is the sun and the different artificial sources of light energies are bulbs tube lights etc so children now let's move on to our last key topic which is renewable and non renewable sources of energy the different sources of energy can be divided into renewable and non renewable sources of energy the first one is renewable sources of energy so what is the definition of renewable sources of energy then energy sources that are unending in supply and we can use it again and again are called as renewable sources of energy as i have already told you regarding the definition of renewable sources of energy that means that are unending in supply that are unending in supply and can be used again and again for example solar energy solar energy is what energy the energy that is provided by the sun isn't it so here what happens sunlight is trapped by the solar panels similarly the another form of renewable energy is the hydro energy that is the energy which is provided by the moving water or generated by the moving water and another renewable source of energy is the wind energy which is the energy obtained by the windmill and there are some more examples also like the windmills in the windmills the renewable source of energy or the wind energy is been used to move the turbines and produce electricity which we have already discussed and we can also say that the renewable sources of energy do not pollute the environment we can conclude it that the renewable sources of energy they do not pollute the environment now the next source of energy is the non renewable source of energy so what does non renewable source of energy mean those energy sources that will ultimately run out that will ultimately run out which do not last for a longer period of time that do not last for a longer period of time are called as non renewable sources of energy let me tell you some examples of non renewable sources of energy they are wood coal petroleum and natural gas these sources are present in limited amount in nature and which will not last for a longer period of time thus we need to use these energy judiciously with this we end our lesson thank you everyone and stay safe at home